Wisconsin state motto is forward. And my friends, that's where we're headed. Right now, the Democratic National Convention is all wrapped up. Now a sprint toward the November election. Also, the UW system is asking for new funding. How much and what it will cover. And we're following the federal government intervening in a rent-fixing case. What it could mean for your rent. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. Well, good evening and thanks for having us in. To start things off, let's get a look at our first worn forecast with meteorologist Blaze Keller on what to expect this week and this weekend. Blaze? You know, we're looking at a warm-up. We've been tracking it for a couple of days now, and it's right on our doorstep. Beginning tomorrow, we'll climb into the 80s, but it's Monday that we climb into the 90s, and it feels like the triple digits not only Monday, but now Tuesday as well. We were looking at model data last night to see if those conditions continued into Tuesday, and for folks who don't like the heat and humidity, Unfortunately, they do. Here is a look at what it may feel like as we step into your Monday late afternoon between 4 and 5. The peak heating of the day, low triple digits to maybe 110 in some spots, especially along the Mississippi River. It doesn't cool off much in the way of heat index values, so what it feels like overnight going into Tuesday, and then we're once again back into those triple digits uh, because of not only the southerly winds and our hot temperatures, but our high dew points expected in those upper 70s to low 80s. Major risk from heat as we kick off our next work week. All of us pretty much in that red. While it's quiet now, we are going to be tracking some isolated rain chances as we head into your Saturday night. We'll talk about that and more in the full forecast. Thank you, Blaze. We continue to follow the latest on that Baraboo cocaine bust we first reported on last week. That's when the Baraboo Police Department started investigating three officers after a man was arrested and accused of drug trafficking. Tanasia Shaw is here with new information that we've just learned today. Tanasia? Yeah, Brady, we just received a criminal complaint from Sauk County today. It says officers found more than 40 grams of cocaine in William Depp's house. This is a photo of Depp. It was just last week on August 13th that Sauk County Sheriff's deputies arrested him. Depp had a search warrant issued against him the day before. During the arrest and in his home, the criminal complaint said deputies found the following, several guns, silencers, and cocaine. Because of the amount, Depp was charged with intent to sell. Officials also said they found two kids under the age of 13 alone in the home with drugs. In total, Depp was charged with 24 charges. Baraboo police started investigating three of their officers connected to the case. One of them is already put on, in, on leave. Reporting studio, Tanasia Shaw. Thank you, Tanasia. And to this developing news from this afternoon, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. has dropped out of the presidential race and is officially endorsing former President Donald Trump for president. In a speech in Phoenix, Arizona, Kennedy highlighted the faults he says he saw in the Democratic Party and mentioned the barriers he felt Democrats put up for him to get on the ballot. Trump responded saying, that's big. He's a great guy, respected by everybody. After four days in Chicago for the Democratic National Convention, this political season is still about 74 days from being over. Here at Channel 3, we have launched our, news, our new Three for the People campaign, where we promise to accurately cover the issues that matter to you the most and to be innovative and interesting while doing so. For accurate, up-to-date election information, check out channel3000.com, and there you can find political excerpts like this one from Senator Tammy Baldwin last night at the DNC. About cutting Social Security and Medicare while giving a huge new tax break to billionaires and corporations? Well, Kamala Harris is not going to let that happen. We Democrats Baldwin spoke for just over two minutes last night highlighting the value of the Midwest as a battleground set of states. In response to Baldwin's speech, Madison businessman Eric Hovde and Baldwin challenger said her rhetoric does not match her record. He says, from record high inflation to the border crisis and a broken health care system, everyday Wisconsinites are struggling because of Vice President Harris and Senator Baldwin's failed policies. Hovde says it's time for a change. Following the DNC and Vice President Kamala Harris's speech last night, several Democrats around the nation and in Wisconsin say they're feeling energized. Milwaukee Mayor Cavalier Johnson says in part, 
I don't know if it's a sense of relief. I think that there's a sense of history that's about to be made here, that we have our chance, an opportunity to elect the first woman president and the first black woman president. And Wisconsin Senate Minority Leader Diane Hesselbein said after the speech, she said, I think with Kamala at the top of the ticket, you're going to see so many people voting for Kamala and Democrats up and down the ticket is going to be fantastic for all of us. With the convention wrapped up, we'll see how that impacts the November election. The party holding their convention usually gets a bump. And we asked CBS News correspondent how Wisconsin voters might be able to quantify any kind of bump Democrats see after the convention. There's going to be so much polling of Wisconsin to get a measure as to where things are now versus where they were a few weeks ago, a couple of months ago. Wisconsin's going to be among the most surveyed states in the nation. So many people have already gotten those calls. You can see more from this conversation this Sunday at 1030 for the record, on for the record rather. One person is dead after a fire in a Janesville home yesterday afternoon. Fire Marshal Nathan Simmons said that this fire happened just afternoon on a block from the Janesville Veterinary Clinic East. Simmons said the cause of the fire was improperly discarded smoking materials as well as no working fire alarms inside the home at the time of the fire. A person was found dead inside of a Monona home late last night. Officers responded to a disturbance on Eastgate Road just across from the Fat Jack's Barbecue. Monona Police Chief Brian Cheney says officers made contact with the victim on the scene and gunshots were heard. Officers say they don't believe there anyone there was involved in the incident. A cause of death has not yet been released by the Dane County Medical Examiner's Office. The Reedsburg area high school football team will not take the field this evening. This after administrators announced tonight's and next Friday's games have been canceled. The district says an investigation into a matter in the community has left the varsity program unable to safely field a team for the first two games of the season. No further details are being provided though due to confidentiality issues with students. The Beavers are expected to return to the field on September 6th against Central High School. If weather permits, pilots from the Wisconsin State Patrol will be keeping an eye out for traffic violations on the Beltline today. When a pilot observes a violation, they will communicate with ground-based units for a traffic stop. The State Patrol says aerial enforcement is one way to enhance their efforts, ensuring drivers reach their destination safely. Many aerial enforcement missions are announced publicly to reinforce safety through voluntary compliance with traffic laws. The Universities of Wisconsin's Board of Regents is officially recommending $855 million in new funding for the system. It's part of a two-year budget proposal. The money would help the universities avoid tuition hikes, give raises, and keep providing free tuition for low-income families. The proposal now goes to Governor Tony Evers. Last night, the Baraboo City Council voted to add a referendum question to the November ballot. The question seeks to increase the property tax levy by $2 million starting next year. It's to maintain city services and hire new staff to offset rising costs and an increasing population. Taxes would rise about $206 per $100,000 of property value should this ballot issue pass. City Administrator John Young says since 2014, the tax levy has increased by just more than 12%. However, inflation is up 34%. When we come back, the DOJ is filing an antitrust lawsuit against a real estate company. How the company participated in price fixing, that's just ahead. And stocks are up today. Dow Jones is up 462 points, NASDAQ up nearly 260 points, and the S&P 500 up 63 points. We'll be right back. A1 Furniture and Mattress is closing their giant showroom, and that means the best prices ever. Everything must go. Over a million dollars in inventory must be sold. Name brands at huge discounts for every room. Store closing sale on now at A1 Furniture and Mattress. Trust your feet to Morgan's Shoes. Why Nout? Why not? Feel the comfort and durability of Nout footwear at Morgan Shoes. Nout shoes and sandals feature full grain leathers in a multitude of colors. Nout's cork and latex composite insole is designed for daily comfort and support. And they are made to last. You'll enjoy Nout's luxury. Shop Morgan Shoes Hilldale for your next pair. 
Comfort with style. Trust your feet to Morgan Shoes. Morgan Shoes, Hildale. Drugs, gangs, and crime are flooding into our communities. But instead of getting tough on the border, Senator Tammy Baldwin supported amnesty for 11 million illegal immigrants, including convicted criminals. Criminals like an illegal immigrant with multiple DUI charges who went on to kill a Wisconsin father of three while driving drunk again. Tell Senator Tammy Baldwin no amnesty for illegal immigrants, especially criminals. Vote to secure the border. It's High Beast Snack Sale. This Friday through Sunday, cheese and crackers, just $1.99. High V yogurt, just 29 cents. Basket and bushel green seedless grapes, just 99 cents a pound. On the border, tortilla chips, queso, or guacamole salsa, just $1.98 each. Intimates Little Bites, just $1.99. And goldfish crackers, just $1.48. Save in store and online, Friday through Sunday, only at High V. Drive into summer with the rugged Honda Ridgeline Passport and Pilot. Summer is for exploring, so get outdoors, kick up some dust, get muddy, or just find that perfect campsite. All from Honda, the 2024 Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com Best Value Brand. So act now to get an offer you'll love. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry in to the Honda Summer Event. A1 Furniture and Mattress is closing their giant showroom, and that means the best prices ever. Everything must go. Over a million dollars in inventory must be sold. Name brands at huge discounts for every room. Store closing sale on now at A1 Furniture and Mattress. A major risk from heat as we kick off our next work week. We're tracking just how hot we'll get tonight at 6. Then new documents shine a light on the investigation into several Baraboo officers. We reveal the latest details tonight at 6. From damaging drought to catastrophic flooding and severe storms in every season, the News 3 Now First Warn Weather Team gives you a deeper understanding of Wisconsin's ever-changing weather with special reports that go beyond the barometer. Only on News 3 Now. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. Welcome back. The Justice Department is taking steps to help millions of Americans facing sky-high rents. The DOJ has filed an antitrust lawsuit against a real estate company called RealPage. It alleges the Dallas-based firm has been engaged in price fixing by using AI-powered algorithms that allows landlords to coordinate rental price hikes. RealPage sells landlords what it calls, quote, revenue management software. We allege that this software is developed, marketed, and sold to enable landlords to sidestep vigorous competition in the rental market. In a statement, RealPage says the Justice Department's claims are devoid of merit and will do nothing to make housing more affordable. Updated COVID-19 vaccines have been given the green light. On Thursday, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration signed off on the shots from Moderna and Pfizer-BioNTech, and they're expected to be available in pharmacies and in clinics in the days ahead. Mandy Gaither has five facts to know about the new vaccine. Widespread testing for COVID-19 has fallen off, so it's unclear how many cases are in the U.S. right now. But CDC data shows wastewater levels of the virus are very high nationally. The amount of virus seen there has been skyrocketing. Dr. Donald Dumford with Cleveland Clinic says the best way to protect against severe disease is by getting vaccinated. So here's what to know about the updated COVID-19 vaccine. Fact one, the CDC recommends everyone over the age of six months should receive it. Dunford says the vaccine is especially important for those who are vulnerable due to factors like age or medical conditions. Fact two, waning immunity and new variants are believed to be behind the recent rise in cases. Fact three, experts believe this latest shot will protect against the strains now spreading. So if you had the vaccine from last year or if you had infection, say, last fall or winter, those antibodies aren't going to match up with the strains that we're seeing circulating now. So that's why it's important to get this, this updated vaccine. Fact four, Dumford says it's safe to get both the COVID-19 vaccine and flu vaccine at the same time. He recommends receiving both by the end of October. 
Finally, fact five, the updated COVID vaccine not only protects you against severe disease, but also those you care about. It's a good idea for you to get vaccinated to, to protect them and not just yourself. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. The CDC reports measures of severe disease from COVID-19 infections, including rates of hospitalization and death, have been rising, but they're nowhere near levels seen in previous years. The Biden administration will resume offering free at-home COVID tests to American households late next month. This follows a summer surge in the virus. You'll soon be able to use covidtest.gov to request for free tests. So far, the government has provided nearly 2 billion tests for free and plans to offer this next round as Americans travel and gather indoors with loved ones. Well, let's get a look at your first warm forecast for what's going on outdoors. Meteorologist Blaze Keller looks ahead at this weekend, and we have some dangerous heat on the way. <laughs> yes, we do. We've got it now an alert day for Tuesday. Previously, it was just Monday, but uh, the uh, high dew points, the southerly winds, all the alert day conditions are continuing to linger into southern Wisconsin into your Tuesday. So we're going to issue that uh, as triple digit heat index values are expected not only Monday, but Tuesday as well. And this is on top of Daytime temperatures getting into the low to mid 90s on your Monday. We cool off, but not really feeling a whole lot cooler as we go into your uh, Tuesday morning, early morning, overnight Monday, only cooling off into some of us the low 80s around uh, southern parts of Grant County. So it's important that not only during the daytime hours Monday and Tuesday, but especially Sunday night, Monday night and Tuesday night until really the heat and humidity move on out of here that you're staying cool and hydrated during the overnight hours as well because that's when your body's trying to rest and you're maybe not consciously able to cool off or drink that water. Also check in on elderly and make sure that your pets are staying hydrated, cool and limiting their time outdoors as well because we're underneath a major risk from heat. All of us in the red, essentially all of the News 3 Now coverage area and we even find extreme risk from heat in parts of Grant County there just outside of Bosco Bell as we go into your Monday. So it is again very important that during these very hot and humid stretches, albeit it's only a couple of days, that you stay cool and hydrated. Water is going to be your best friend as we go into the weekend and start off next week. Low to mid 60s tonight. Southerly winds are going to remain light. This is going to be a mild night compared to uh, some of our overnight lows that we are forecasting here in the coming days when we only dip into the low 70s and we keep with the hot and humid conditions during the overnight hours. While quiet on radar 3000, there is some haze in the atmosphere. You might have noticed that if you've been outside, just a little bit of uh, haze, but that does start to move on out of here as our winds move northwards. That warmth the humidity as well. We're into the mid 80s tomorrow. We should stay dry, but overnight Saturday into Sunday, we could see showers and thunderstorms mainly across southwestern portions of the viewing area. Not expecting any severe weather with that. And if you're not a fan of the heat and humidity, not only does relief come towards the end of the extended forecast, but it looks like we got about a 50% chance of sitting underneath cooler than average temperatures as we kick off September. Earlier this morning, some folks were able to see a meteor or fireball stream across parts of Wisconsin. Uh, thank you, Karen, for sending us in your dash cam footage of that. And then Ray captured the smoke trail behind that. He wasn't able to actually see this, the fireball as it was kind of burning up, but he sent us this as well. The path stretching over 60 miles from Augusta and Eau Claire County South into the Toma area. So kind of interesting. You can read about it on our website. There is a look at your seven and 10 day forecast. The relief comes as we go into Thursday of next week and beyond staying dry for your Labor Day weekend. Thank you, Blaze. When we come back four astronauts hope to make history with the first citizen spacewalk, the training and how they plan to do it next. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. If you've been seriously injured in a car accident, watch out. The insurance company is going to ask you to sign some papers. Don't do it. Don't trust the insurance company after your accident. You can miss out on what you really deserve. Call Gruber Law Offices today. One call. That's all. Right now, we're running our 60-60-60 sale. So when you purchase your new concrete coating, you get a $60 Visa gift card, plus either 60% off installation or 60-month no interest financing. This is one of our best deals of the year. So visit our website or call the number for your new floor today. 
I'm Vice President of the National Border Patrol Council. America needs a commander-in-chief who's tough on illegal immigration. Kamala Harris fails that test. We're not going to treat people who are undocumented across the border as criminals. That's correct. That is correct. Kamala was Biden's border czar. She supported sanctuary cities and taxpayer benefits for illegal immigrants. And she created the worst border crisis in American history. Kamala Harris is dangerous. Preserve America PAC is responsible for the content of this advertising. This right here is confidence in a bottle. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. We even have a video, and all he uses is a small amount on a clean, dry face. And what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes. And I did this to my father. We were at home, so we applied it to his under eye bags, and let me tell you, we were so excited. In under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view, and now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. At our $14.95 price, it's the best way to try Plexiderm and see it work after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. Hi there, Brad Beasley and my daughter Marlena here for Tundra Land. It's back to school time and together we can help with constant kids in need. We call it Bath to Backpack. With your help, Tundra Land will donate one backpack for the school supplies to a local student for every appointment this month. And for a limited time, you get free installation, no payments for a full year, and free upgraded fixtures. We all win. Call 1-800-TUNDRA LAND or go to TUNDRALAND.COM today. 800-TUNDRALAND.COM Certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. For imprint is your home for Provo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For imprint for certain. I'm attorney David Gruber. If you've been seriously injured, trust our hometown team to get you back in the game. Gruber Law Offices, proud partner of your Milwaukee Brewers. One call, that's all. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. Four astronauts are scheduled to blast off early Tuesday on a historic six-day mission called Polaris Dawn. They will climb to a record orbit 870 miles above Earth. That's more than three times higher than the International Space Station. The mission will also attempt to uh, be the first ever commercial spacewalk. Mark Strassman met the crew that has spent two years training for this ambitious mission. And SpaceX, we are go for two pressurization. In the crew training room at SpaceX headquarters, Michael Blasco and his team play Gremlin. Their job, make life tough for four civilian astronauts. One low pressure, abort, abort, abort. You're throwing problems at them. Exactly. Emergencies. Yeah. Yes. Our favorite part of the job is just stress people out and see how they respond. <laughs> Leading this crew, Jared Isaacman, a 41-year-old billionaire entrepreneur. In 2021, he paid for and commanded Inspiration4, the first all-civilian mission to orbit the Earth. He hopes this mission, Polaris Dawn, will kickstart development of new tools for even deeper space exploration. I didn't grow up at a time to see humans walk on the moon. I really would like my daughters to, you know, see humans walking on Mars uh, someday. Isaacman's three crewmates include retired fighter pilot Scott Poteet and two SpaceX employees, Anna Menon and Sarah Gillis. SpaceX is go for spacewalk operations. The mission highlight and engineering challenge, the first commercial spacewalk. Roughly 435 miles above Earth, their Dragon capsule will vent down to the vacuum of space. Two of the astronauts, Isaacman and Gillis, will alternate floating through the open hatch for roughly 15 minutes apiece. What's it like training for something that essentially has never been done before? A huge part of the last couple years is not only developing the hardware that we need, but also developing the training for how do we go and successfully demonstrate we can do this. EV-1 is transitioning for egress. This special crane simulates microgravity. We watch the astronauts practice exiting the hatch and testing their mobility. To make this spacewalk a reality, these spacesuits were redesigned from helmet to toe. They also have to withstand thermal extremes in the vacuum of space. 
Oh, it has to have all the means to sustain life. When it's pressurized up, what you're seeing there is a mini spaceship. Space flight is inherently risky, but this crew is confident in their training and in the company about to make space history. It's been an absolute amazing journey training for this mission, and uh, we just can't wait to go to space. For a mission that could open the door to new possibilities in space. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Hawthorne, California. And back here on Earth, we have a final check of your first warden forecast when we come back. With Suite of Metal Roofing, you get quality metal roofs installed by the best in the business. A metal roof means no fading, no storm repairs, true sustainability, and lower energy bills. Suite of Metal Roofing, the last roof you'll ever need. We would never hit 12 drought. Clutch it up, drunk? Not a chance. Do a stoppy, drunk? We would never drift drunk. So you should never drive drunk. Drive sober or get pulled over. Let's do this. Introducing Chevy's best lineup of SUVs ever. The rugged, always ready Trailblazer. The first ever Traverse Z71. And the Chevy Trax, starting at $21,495. When it's your time to shine, Chevy's got you. Get 1.9% financing on select popular 2024 Chevy SUVs when you finance with GM Financial. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in Wisconsin. Some things are big, others are huge. It's Empire Today's half price sale. Get $2,400 of flooring for $1,200, $5,200 for an amazing $2,600. That's half the price of your entire purchase. Shop for carpet, hardwood, vinyl, and laminate right from home and have it professionally installed. Don't miss Empire's half price sale. Schedule now. 800-588-2300-EMPIRE. Today. Turn your old deck into dollars. You can trade in your old deck and earn cash back towards a brand new deck that is backed by our extensive lifetime warranty. All you have to do is visit tradeinmydeck.com, answer a few quick questions, and you'll see your estimated trade-in value instantly. Visit tradeinmydeck.com. Imagine trying to take on one of the big car companies. It's not easy. Yet this year, one local law firm finalized the largest compensatory verdict in state history against an automaker, over $38 million. And it was no fluke. That same firm has been holding big car companies accountable for faulty designs that cause injury for over 50 years. Because Wisconsinites know who to call when it's a must-win scenario. They call Habish, Habish & Rotier. National reputation, hometown service. I love the co-op because of the good food and it supports the community. I love the fresh produce, coffee at the juice bar for while I'm shopping, and the large selection of bulk products. I think the prices are great. I love the co-op because they make healthy food affordable for people. I love the people who work here and the people who shop here. The vibe is great and they have fun cooking classes for kids. I love the co-op. I come here almost every day. It's kind of my mini vacation going there. Coming up tonight on the CBS Evening News, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. suspends his presidential campaign and endorses Donald Trump. Why he said he won't be a spoiler, but could the move give Trump an edge in the dead heat race for the White House? That and more headlines tonight here on the CBS Evening News. Plumes of lava burst from the ground in Iceland. Yikes. This was the latest eruption in the Reykjanes Peninsula. Manur Ali from Maryland thought she and her friend were witnessing another natural wonder. Well, that is until they got a closer look. This is the sixth time the volcano has blown in eight months after staying dormant for more than 800 years. The eruption began on Thursday after a series of strong earthquakes, but volcanologists say the rivers of lava are not headed for any nearby towns. I would Wait, be a little freaked out. Wait, did somebody from Maine see it? Maybe they were on vacation. Oh, you I was know. like, isn't Iceland far from Maine? They got the binoculars and... Like super binoculars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not smart when ones. it comes to geography. That's okay. I'm here to help you. Thank you. <laughs> but what I do know a little bit of, and that is a joke, I know a lot about it, weather 
We are expecting quiet conditions tonight. The next 12 hours will cool off into the low to mid 60s, staying clear to mostly clear. A little bit of haze in the atmosphere, warming up for your Saturday, staying in the 80s Sunday with some morning showers and thunderstorms. And then we really turn up the heat. Alert days Monday, Tuesday. Not only is it going to be hot, but we could feel like we're in the triple digits. Stay cool and hydrated. We do get some relief as we round out next week. Hey, thanks everyone for spending this time with us. We'll see you back here at six.